Understanding the phrase, blackmail, a comprehensive guide. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss. One that you might have heard in movies, TV shows, or even in real life situations. We are going to dive deep into the meaning, usage, and history of the phrase, blackmail. Stay tuned, as understanding this phrase will not only enhance your vocabulary but also improve your understanding of English idioms and expressions. Blackmail is a noun and a verb. As a noun, it refers to the act of threatening to reveal damaging or embarrassing information about someone unless they do something in return, usually involving paying money. For example, if someone has stolen confidential information from a company and demands money to keep the information secret, that's blackmail. As a verb, to blackmail someone is to engage in this act of coercive extortion. The person who carries out this act is known as a blackmailer. Here's an example sentence to help you understand it better. He tried to blackmail her by threatening to reveal her past mistakes. The term, blackmail, has an intriguing history. It dates back to the 16th century Scotland, where farmers would pay rent, or, mail, in the form of money or goods to their landlords. Black, in this context referred to something illegal or illicit. Farmers would sometimes be forced to pay extra money, or, blackmail, on top of their regular rent, usually under the threat of violence or harm to their property. Understanding this historical context helps in appreciating the evolution of the term and its contemporary usage. Now that we know what blackmail means, let's focus on how to use it in sentences. 1. As a noun, the celebrity was a victim of blackmail when an unknown person threatened to release her private photos. 2. As a verb, he was caught trying to blackmail his co-worker into giving him money. Remember, using blackmail correctly in a sentence requires understanding the context and the seriousness of the situation, as it involves illegal or unethical coercion. That's it for today's video. We hope you now have a clear understanding of what blackmail means, its origin, and how to use it in sentences. Remember, Learning new phrases and expressions is a great way to enrich your English language skills. Don't forget to practice, and feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Until next time, happy learning!